so I am finally settled in for the most part, and I figured I should show everybody my apartment. So let's go. So I thought we would start with the absolute best thing about this apartment, and that is the view. And the giant wasp. So this is the Sea of Japan here. And it looks really pretty at night, too. And the city is over there. And this is the spider that lives right outside my door. He's a little freaky, but he doesn't move, so I'm okay with him being there. My building is also bright blue. I don't think this camera does it justice. So I would lower your expectations now because this apartment is very tiny. So first we have the Genkan where we leave our shoes because no outside shoes are allowed in buildings here. And we have my window, my what you would call a stove, and I actually have to plug it in over here above the refrigerator because that's the only outlet. Uh, my sink, my cleaning supplies, I've managed to get some dishes. I don't know why these shelves are so high. I'm considered tall in this country and I still can't reach it very well. I have one whole plate, so I'd say I'm living the good life. And my refrigerator, which is very tiny. And I have my snacks, of course. I brought these from home because you can't find them here. And of course I had to deck out my fridge. There's not a lot of space in there because I had to take out one shelf so I could fit in my Brita filter. So I don't have very much room. And then we have my bathroom, which is extra tiny. Usually the toilet is in a separate room from the shower and the sink, but this apartment is really old. It's about 30 years old, so there's really no space. And my shower is pretty tiny. Uh, in Japanese bathrooms, typically, you're supposed to shower outside of the bathtub and then use the bathtub to relax, but um, there's no space, so I just use it as a shower. And there's also a good step up into the bathroom as well. And here is my washing machine. Uh, there's zero storage, as I've said before, so I bought these shelves and I made a makeshift little makeup hair center and a place for cleaning supplies. And it's worked out pretty well. I can't really complain. And then over here is for trash. Uh, the trash separation system is very different here. There's lots of different colored bags for lots of different kinds of trash. We have the green bags, which are for burnables, and then I also use light blue bags, which are for plastics. And then in here is the main room. It feels really good in here because I have the air conditioner going, and it doesn't reach into the kitchen area. Uh, so I need lots of places to store my clothes. My next door neighbor is fantastic. She gave me these cabinets and she also gave me this table and chairs, which is amazing because I was getting tired of eating at my desk. And I got this bookshelf too, which I'm already running out of space on. Some books and all of my stuffed animals, and of course I had to bring Full House and Roseanne and all of my DVDs. Eventually I'm getting a TV, and I brought my DVD player with me too. And over here is my closet. Again, it's very tiny. Actually, it had no rods in it to hang clothes up, so I had to buy those rods and put them in myself. They've been working out okay. Uh, this one rod likes to fall down, but I've taken like all of my work pants and blazers off of it, so hopefully that won't happen anymore. And then down here is where I store my futon. But uh, that's outside right now, you're supposed to air a futon out 
probably about once a week or else it could get moldy and I don't want that to happen. And I've got my suitcase up here because it's really tall. I was attempting to store my futon up there at first and then I realized I could just switch that out with the suitcase and make my life easier. And this apartment actually came with a futon for me, a brand new one, and that was really nice, but it was really thin for this hardwood floor. So I went out and I bought a second one and now it's super comfortable. And then the apartment also came with a desk and desk chair. Of course I had to get the printer myself. And I have all my documents and stuff in there. And all the important stuff for work. And here is my balcony. We don't have dryers in Japan typically, so really you have to hang your clothes out to dry, which isn't so bad. It only takes maybe half a day. And here you can see all the houses. And more trash because blue bags only get picked up once a week. And there you can see my futon is hanging up to air out so it doesn't get moldy. And the mountains, of course. But like I said, Japanese apartments are typically very, very tiny. I have the light up there. And there's my air conditioning slash heater for the winter. I've been told I'll probably need a space heater too because that doesn't work that well. But um, yeah, this is where I live. I've been making it pretty cozy. I lay out my futon about here at night and I still have plenty of room. I still want to get a, like a small couch to put over here and fill in that blank space and TV. And eventually I would also like to get a microwave. But that's about it. I have some pictures I need to hang up on the walls. I'm going to get to that eventually once I have a better feel for the room. But this is where I live. I really like it. It's actually really comfortable. And I've been like sleeping like a rock here too, which is amazing. So I can't complain. It's small, but I've made it cozy. So I'm going to make an update video about how my week has gone either later today or tomorrow, so I'll see you guys then. Bye!